up YouTube? I'm back with another video. This is your boy Montez Wheeler. I want everyone to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed to this channel and you're a new viewer, I want you to hit that black bell so you can get all of my videos and not just some. Today, I'm coming back with another little story called He Saved Their Child at Walmart. Stick around for this one. Y'all gonna like this one. Okay, so you got a guy named Charles. Charles is around my age, 26, 27, one of those. Um, anyways, Charles is homeless. I don't know what led up to him being homeless, but he is in this story. So Charles, the only thing he does have left is a car that he got a year ago from his last job. So Charles, that's how he gets from plan A to plan B. Okay, so let's fast forward to this day, okay? Charles, he's standing in front of Popeyes. He's paying him on asking for money. Some people shoo him away. Some people actually give him some money. So he ended up getting some Popeyes, right? Charles goes in the back of one of these buildings that he knows nothing about. It's probably closed. Uh, the sun's going down. Charles is back here eating his Popeyes. And he suddenly remember he got to wash up. So he went in Family Dollar and stole a rag and soap and some toothpaste. He didn't want to, but he had to do what he had to do, right? Now it's getting nighttime. And it's just about 9 p.m. Charles knew he had to wash up. So he would always go to this one Walmart in the hood. It's just that he went to the same one he's been going to since he's been homeless. I guess to keep the same vibe going or whatever. But he goes in Walmart, he washes up, he goes and he got his weed in the car. I mean, duty to two policies. He got his green in the car. And he's just smoking and eating and watching videos. And then he eventually goes to sleep. Next thing you know, Charles is woken up to a screen. He looking around like, what's going on? He think it's a video playing on his phone that was just on already on Play Next. You know, the phone that says Play Next video, he thought it was one of those, but he realized his phone was dead and he forgot to put the charger in. So he laid back down. Then he hears the scream again. Now he's looking around. And when he look across the parking lot, he sees a pregnant woman getting mugged by a robber. So now Charles, he jumped out the car and he run over there to the woman. And then the robber, he, by this time, he got the woman's purse, he janked it, he jumped in the woman's car and picked it tight. Next thing you know, Charles go up, he tell the woman, uh, 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 you want me to, uh, you need any help? The woman's like, yes, yes, he has my baby in the backseat. Next thing you know, Charles, he went, jumped in his van and went on a full chase, chasing the robber, like 10 minutes down the road. So now Charles, he's not even worried about crashing his car, right? He's driving up on the robber, trying to bang the car, get on the side of the road, because now all he's thinking about is the kid in the backseat. He don't know if it's a baby, a little girl, or whatever. But he's driving in the robber, I guess, I don't know what happened, this guy must have been drunk, but the car spun out of control just a little bit enough for the car to crash and come to a stop. Charles jumps out of the car, the robber, he tries to run, but Charles catches up with him. The statue that Charles was coming towards the robber, he immediately cringed up on the ground, and Charles committed a beat down on the robber, just beating him, beating him senseless. So right after that, Charles looks in the back seat, and it's an eight-year-old little girl. Charles gets the kid, puts her in the van safely, right back to Walmart. Now you're thinking about the car. He left the car there. So we get back, and he can tell by the woman's face. The only thing she was worried about is, did you get my baby? And her smile went from here when Charles says, here she is. The woman I'm talking about, she been there got on her knees and thanked Charles and said, if you weren't around, no telling what could have happened. And Charles is like, man, I'm so glad I was around. Um, is there anything else I can help with? I mean, uh, you should, why are you here, this lady? And the woman, she's still shaking, holding on tight to her daughter, and with a you know, big stomach, she, she was pregnant. She was telling Charles that uh, she needed some milk for the baby, and no other stores was open. And she knew the Walmart was gonna close around 11, so she just chose to hurry up and run there and get it. The milk, of course, so um, Charles was like, okay, okay, cool, you know. Uh, and the woman's like, what's your situation? Charles began to tell her that he was homeless and this and that, fast forward. She started feeling sorry for Charles. The woman began to think about if Charles wasn't there that night, what could have happened to her daughter, right? So given the fact that Charles was pretty much homeless and uh, he wasn't asking for anything for the woman, just a genuine out of his heart, she could see that he was a good guy. So the lady looks at Charles and says, what you did for me tonight, sir, I'm gonna change your life. And she reached in and put out a check and was right, and Charles said, Ma'am, you don't have to. And even then, Charles is thinking, it's going to be, uh, you know, making a hundred dollars, right? As the woman has tears rolling in her eyes, she says, thank you so much, young man. God bless. God wanted me to give this to you. And she handed uh, Charles a check. Charles looked at the check after the woman pulled off and beat the horn. 
It was $100,000. Charles couldn't believe his eyes. All Charles could do is just look down at the check and look up and thank God. That's the end of this story, but I want to say a message. Helping people goes a long way. I don't care if it's 50 cents, I don't care if it's a dollar. Try to help as much people as you can because you never know what could come back in return. Charles, he's homeless, living out his car, no money, no house. He helped that woman and now look, he got $100,000. Charles went and got himself a new car, got himself a place, and he found a new girlfriend. Hey, if y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And for everyone who is new, they just click on this video and just still visiting my channel. What I want you to do is if you like this video, hit the black bell so you can get all my videos. If y'all like these little stories, I'm gonna post them back to back because I got hundreds of them. Man, I wanna thank y'all for watching this video. Please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I wanna thank you for watching. Peace.